And welcome back. Okay, so last time we recruited Mr. Dirk here, who I was contemplating keeping as a tank. I think I'd rather not, though, even though he might make like, an, like a decent tank. Let's just get rid of him. We have enough people as it is. Enough mediocre people, I should say. Now, what was this? Hunt down what terrorizes. All right, I think we could do that. So this is minus 20% melee skill, meaning that we should keep Hilmar in the lineup. Well, that's going to be fine. Since he's only down three hit points. Sure, let's, let's see how this goes. Our first beast fight. Okay, we encounter a colorful wagon. So usually I just rob these guys. But I think I will here as well. There we go. Okay, 14 nachos. Don't feel too bad about robbing people like that on the road. We are not necessarily the good guys here. Anywho, 14 nachos might get someone killed. That's fine. Whatever. If you die, you die. Let's see how many medium-sized ones we have. At least four. Let's also lower the combat speed. Back down to one. So my nose is making sounds. Hopefully it's not too audible on the recording. Anyway, let's see about this nachos. So crippling strikes, deep cuts, pathfinder, 80 hit points, 10 melee defense. Okay. And you also have executioner. All right, I think I'll just start straight away. Just need to deny the corpses. No feasting for you. Step in there and miss. We could have waited for surrounding bonuses. And probably should have. Should have waited there as well. Don't know why I'm playing so poorly. Well. Okay, let's use spear wall, I think. A nice little bush there, as well as a boulder. Good one. Okay, so these middle mid sized ones have 200 hit points. Could go for a knockout, perhaps. But I could just go for damage instead. Eh, let's go for damage. And miss. Okay. 100 initiative. Let's use adrenaline. Okay, Theodobald can't actually move up and hit. Due to first turn initiative. So let's stay over here, I suppose, for now. Okay, take these shots, I guess. One good hit there. There's one kill. Oh, these ones do get to act before our initiative-based characters should have checked that. Oh, well. Acts in 8, acts in 6. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay, 63 to hit. Hmm. Maybe it is called for to go for a knockout. Eh. Well, there we go. 
You act in 12, you act in 14. I could do a rotation here. Sure, let's use that. Haven't used it yet. Now let's see if they're able to do anything. So far, not too much. So we are taking some damage. Spearball is working, never mind. Chinks it. Alright, can we kill? Yes, we can. And we can also cut a step, deny the corpse. We can cut a step again. I guess we will. I do like this ability. I, it will be pretty hilarious once we get like a famed goblin sword. Okay, let's see. Yeah, just in there. Should have maybe waited on that. I think should we move or try to move there. Turn on, turn on. Uh, let's not do it just yet. Here. Hmm. Don't need to go for this one. Let's go for this one instead. Right. Missed. Okay, you have a melee defense of 18. Meaning I might need to shield wall, but yeah, okay. Well, we can still wait and see what happens. So this doesn't stagger. I think in Legends this Rebel does stagger. 61, 71. Okay, that works. Okay, and now you have an initiative of 90. Minus 20% melee skill as well. And we can just kill you. As well as that one. Okay, seems to be going well enough. No casualties, probably. Unless we get extremely lucky at the end here. I mean, I don't think it will be... I don't think it will happen, but you never know, I suppose. All right, so this one will be able to reach this corpse. Oh, well. Well, we can immediately go for an attack here. Then again, let's wait. I think we can lower its resolve. Oh, should have used cut a step. Oh, well. All right, six more nachos to go. Can't get this one, I suppose, unless I manage to snipe it. This one, this one might get away as well, unless I guarantee I kill it. Mm. Oh, you rallied. Okay, well that means you also die. In a moment here. were no match for us. A 
couple of level ups and some brains and some other junk. All right, so Valdemar level five plus three plus five and take the melee skill as well. Okay, so you have to go nimble with 59 hit points, meaning that you won't last very long, probably. Also here I should probably take Spear Mastery, which means changing weapons. Um, I could just take Mace Mastery, we do have fast adaptation. And we are already using a Mace. Hmm. Hmm. Let's level this guy up while I think about that. So rot one, level three. Plus three there is nice, plus four resolve. If we get promised potential, then we won't need more resolve. Also, I haven't planned. Hmm. Should have planned. I could just take nine lives. That's allowed. It will be refunded as well if promised potential is a success. 40 hit points, so that might very well be worth it. Concussive strikes requires a maze. We don't get fast adaptation. Sure, I'll just take 9 lives for you. You do get dodge. You don't have stars in it though. You do get plus 10 initiative, however. Not sure I want to get dodge with you. Or initiative, I should say. I think I'll take the plus three hit points. There we go. And now with Waldemar. Do we have a good spear in the inventory? Um, we do have the war fork, which is a reach weapon. Hmm. I think I should, I don't know. Let's see, we'll reach 76 melee skill, thereabouts, at level 11. Meaning that even with fast adaptation, I think spears make more sense than mazes do, so sure, let's go with spears. There we go. Let's call this guy Ini Spear. Switch his weapon. So who gets the war fork? Is it you? Maybe. 5 AP, 9 Fatigue, okay, can also Spear Wall. Alright, I think that's it for now, we should equip this guy though, with something. 30, 40, let's give him a Pitchfork, and a Knife. No one else needs a knife, it seems. Good, good, good. Alright, let's keep moving. Or rather, return. Alright, so, okay, nice prices. Buy that. Ooh, this is very nicely priced. Let's buy all the goat, goat cheese as well as the bread. Need 11 days. Sure. There we are. Alright, let's go to Forest Land now, see if we could find a banner man finally. Seems we see brigands, yes we do. The lineup. I could let Wolfgun sit out. Is there a point though? A few hunters, so we might be hit by something nasty. Let's bring Mr. Ernst instead, who does have the same potential of death to one crossbow bolt to the head, but oh well. Or he actually has a higher chance to die. Do something like that. But I won't mind too much if that happens. Otherwise, are we fine? Your armor is speed up, so I could let you 
Either switch armor or sit out. Switch armor. Bear that. Quick look at the other equipment. Seems to be mostly fine. Mostly. They mostly come out at night. Mostly. Alright, please don't go into the swamp there. There we are. Okay. Nasty hit to the head there straight away. If we take another one, he is going to die probably. Could block it with Ernst, but let's not. I just step over there. I think you act in 14. I think Air Valdemar here will just retreat. As soon as he's able. Hmm. Which step over here already, I think. Why not? You can wait. You can wait. You can also wait. Alright. Bravely run away. There you go. Now let's take these shots. Hmm. Is Kata step worth it here? I think so, actually. But I can't go there. Okay. Well, in that case, no. Alright. Oh, it tickles. Alright. Um, take that position. Just get next to these guys here. 56. Okay, this guy has been pummeled nearly to death, meaning I can go for someone else now. Basically everyone will act before him next round. You'd go for a rotation. Then again, if I kill him with Hilmar, he can cut a step over here, I think. So, let's not. Okay, rot one. Sure. Hmm. Well, I already stepped there. I could go for this one instead, but eh. score a nice hit there. Right. Two hits, but not quite enough to kill. Now I could use rotation. Sure. Okay, now let's see. You act in 16, you act in 15, you act in 3. Hmm. The Ingolf can probably kill this pillager, meaning I can go for the Vandal with the shield. 49 is a pretty good percentage. Okay. Can I use this if I wait? Seems like no. Well, let's just stay put. Okay, 
getting a lot of tickling on Hilmar. So we really need to make sure that this pillager dies. Or he gets to hit Hilmar as well. Can you do it? Yes, you can. Okay, nasty headshot there. Especially with the low amount of HP that this mercenary possesses. Okay, you're still acting. 20 melee defense, 29. I could use shield wall, but... I think I'd rather just go for damage. There's a chance we get the kill. But we don't, okay? Theodobald gets his revenge. Hmm. He might be sniped next round. Well, not much I can do about that. Need to go for this guy. Sadly. And go for him twice. Well, I could move here and use Bestial Vigor at that point. Go for... Go for the Pillager at that point. Hmm. So Wilhelm has a melee defense of 7, but there's only a few of them alive, so let's go for it. 51. Well, it is a hit. And that might have saved Rod 1 from getting hit due to the injury. Seven. All right. Overall, a semi clean fight. Got a couple of injuries, though. So two level ups. We're starting to run out of inventory space. Right, Edward level six. Plus five, nice. Uh, I guess we'll take the hit points and the resolve. And as for the perk, I think it's Berserk Time. 87 fatigue to play around with after gear. Sure, and everyone also gets recover, so why the hell not? There we are. Next up, Ortwin, level 3. Okay, lots of things I want here. I think this is initiative over the resolve as well actually no you don't get promise potential i thought this guy might have had that in which case maybe i should take the resolve here hmm it's a plus six roll though yeah i'll just take that take that resolve and melee defense sure So he'll be going for medium armor with dodge and maybe pick up shield expert if he needs more melee defense. Let's pick up skirmisher. Kind of the same thing as relentless. A little bit. Okay. Continue our journey now. There we are. Selling prices should be good. Let's take a look. It is 17. Okay, not as good as I would have hoped. It's actually worse than last time. 
Still, we need the inventory space, so we need to sell some of this junk. Some of the junk must go. Don't need this many shields, do I? I'll even sell the sling. Oh, this is a different sling. It's a staff sling. Uh, let's compare that a little bit. 35 to 50. 25 to 40. Okay, this is worse. Seems like it. Okay, well, I'll just sell it. We really need more inventory space. But that means we need more money. Or we need our caravan hand. Do we still have the caravan hand? Or has he died? Is he alive? There he is. Okay, he needs to reach level 6. And then give us the event. He's actually fine now. So let's put him in the fighting line. So you should step out of the fighting line. Like so. Right, okay, so 59. So I don't know if they've changed the gear you can craft, but I'm inclined to just sell all of this nacho garbage. We do have a taxidermist though. Paint remover, okay, so we can craft nothing else currently. I'll just sell this. Don't want to hang on to that. Not with this inventory space situation that we find ourselves in. Okay. A couple of two-handed mazes in, in the inventory. I would actually like to use them as well, but currently, currently not going to happen, I don't think. Might happen soon though, so I think I'll keep both of them. Also, that's better than a pitchfork now, isn't it? Um, let's see. 6 AP to use, though. But the damage is better. Okay. Well, I can... I suppose I can hang on to the rest of this stuff, but let's sell one of these and let's sell that. Alright, that's probably good. Let's, now let's look at the recruits. Just outright get the cheap ones. Probably. Let me try this guy out. Brave and loyal. Hmm. Tiny. That's fine for a ranged character. You do get throwing. So maybe I'll get this guy and maybe even this guy. But let's check the ones we already got. So Leonard seems to be garbage. Um, Servant doesn't get promised potential either. Let's get back to basics, which is... Very different from what this perk of the same name is in Legends. Anyway, this guy is kind of bad, so goodbye. Next up, Halstem Blood Eye. Seems to be not good enough as well. Stars are mostly in the wrong places. Does start with 59 melee skill, which is not horrible. Hmm, I think, I think not though. Goodbye. Maybe we do need to splurge on a higher tier background to get that banner man. Check out these guys though. We already do have 15 people. Hmm. I would just really like to find that banner man. After which we could take on 
undead lairs and not suffer such humiliating defeats as we did against just three ghosts. So this guy might be worth it as a thrower. Maybe. And this guy might be worth it overall because of being a wild man. I think I'll probably... Yeah, sure. I'll get this wild man. Let's hope he's actually good. He is... Decent, maybe. Kind of hila hilariously he does have three stars in resolve. Starting at 52, but no rally the troops as far as I can see so that's a shame would have made a good banner man which we were looking for so as a wild man does get bestial vigor as well as feral rage and savage strength starts at 53 melee skill doesn't well, actually does have fast adaptation so maybe I'll keep this guy Maybe. He's not stellar, but he's usable. Good amount of fatigue, decent hit points, one star melee defense. Um, does he need to go nimble? No, he can go point with medium armor as well. Doesn't have Colossus. Kind of needs to go medium armor if I keep him. Then again, he is kind of mediocre, which means I should probably not take him. It's a real shame that this guy doesn't get rally the troops. Does he get anything else that might justify keeping him? Thing is that with just, just 53 starting melee skill with no stars, he's not going to be very good, not even with fast adaptation. Unless he rolls like a god. Or I level him to like level 40, which I won't. Okay, sure, I'll get rid of him. What a waste. Anyway, let's see about these contracts caravan probably skip delivery I could do could drive off brigands as well sure I'll drive off some brigands does get rid of the ambush trade routes condition but that might return at a later time. Okay, some poachers, some scoundrels, some vandals, a few pillagers. Lineup is fine. I think we just head in straight away. Sure. Oh, and. Theodor the Marauder. It's him. You know it. Eyeing through the spike eyeing through a spyglass, you can easily see the silhouette of the infamous robber baron as he moves about the brigand's encampment. He wasn't in your plans, nor mentioned in the contract, but there's little doubt that if you bring his head back to town, you'll be getting a little extra for your troubles. Alright, so that's the first brigand leader we've seen. Might need to use a net on him. We do have nets. There he is. Would really like to get his armor. That's the first warbrand we've seen as well. Alright, so this will potentially be a challenge. Let's see what happens. They do have four ranged characters, which might mean that they have ranged superiority in the eyes of the AI. Doesn't seem like it though. They are keen on advancing. So definitely want to leave Theodore 
to the last, use a net and dagger him down. If at all possible. He does come with a fighting spear, which means he will be able to hit us quite easily. We don't really have a good tank just yet, so we'll see how this goes. Lots of perks, by the way, and he does get king of all weapons, so he is actually very dangerous. He can attack three times, well, even more than that, probably. Because he also has spear mastery per turn. Okay, so this guy is, yes. I do, I do need to worry about him. Hopefully we can break his resolve. Inspiring presence. Okay. Hmm. Alright, we could actually be a little bit cowardly here. Back off a little bit. Maybe. Is there a point? 3 AP to move. 3 AP, 3 AP. Maybe there's no point. Could set up something over here, but I don't really want to bother doing something like that. So who does have the nets? Do you have one? You have two. Okay. As well as Beathelm has one. Hmm. I think we'll just fight this as we've been fighting and worry about Mr. Theodar when the time comes. Can't step in and attack unless I use this. Which I don't want to use just yet. Okay, 73. We might be able to actually hit him with arrow to the knee. Not yet, obviously, but... He's moving forward. So that might be a plan. Can we hit him? 18%. 28 with a regular... Quick aim... Not aimed. Quick shot. Okay, so I don't think I want to try for an 18%. Let's instead go for some kills. I will go for this guy, I think. Since we can. Killing the f this northern flank will be hopefully kind of easy. Which will break the morale of the rest of them. Two AP. And you have initiative, so you can do a hit and run, kind of. But the rest of you probably stay put. Eighty-eight initiative. That is more than they have. Okay, let's see if Ingolf can handle this. Nice. Don't really want to use Beathelm too aggressively here. Maybe I should get the net out already. Uh, let's just set up a welcoming committee for these guys, I think. So move over here, perhaps. That's 3 AP, 3 AP, so you won't be able to move up and attack. How many action points do you have? Five. Well, you won't be able to do much with those, I think. Right. Okay, go for this guy, maybe. So yes, this is a flail, which means the shield is kind of useless. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, I think I'll go for that guy. Also, did I even need to use that? Probably I did. Same initiative, okay. 
3 AP, 3 AP, 3 AP. So I can probably kill the melee guys as they come, which means I should maybe go for the poachers now. Sixty-four, yeah. There's Berserk. Let's go for this guy now. Very nice. Could even step in and attack this villager. But I think I'd rather wait. We can move in golf next to them and use shield wall. And hopefully he will be able to block, block or evade their attacks. Cut a step, perhaps, or perhaps I just wait and let them come. Let's just wait and let them come. Wait. Right. It's going well, but obviously Theodore will be a problem unless he breaks. All right, now what to do with you, Ernst? Um, could go for this guy already. I can block this one if I want to. Do I even care though? I don't think I do. Okay, 51. So one of you does need to get the net out very soon, but let's just keep attacking for now. Oh, you don't actually have Relentless. Oh, never mind. You don't actually even use initiative. Don't know why I thought you would. Also means I don't really care about getting staggered here, probably. Which I might? I don't know. Let's see. Just wait, I guess. Oh, they have Rally. Rather he be using Rally than attacking us multiple times per turn. Twenty eight, twenty five, thirty seven, forty nine. Let's go for the forty Initiative of 77, which is more than these guys. Now it's 57 though. Seventy, seventy-nine. So you're well, actually you might be getting rallied, so let's just kill you. There we are. If I step here. And Theodor decides to join the fight over there. That's not very good for us, I don't think. Hmm. 
to just wait again. Nah, let's just go for it. Can still cut a step. Okay, I will. I'm really liking all the skills associated with weapon masteries in the mod. Okay, I would really like to kill Theodor as well, so let's not kill his allies too quickly here. Until he has engaged in melee. And again, there are still nine of them left. What was that? What the hell was that? Don't know. Well, whatever. Okay, 3 AP, 3 AP. I think I'll wait and see what Theodore does. Okay, Theodore, please do something. Please engage with us so I don't need to get to you. Fifteen percent. Okay, I suppose we'll take care of this. 9 initiative, that's more than you. Okay, there he is, and he did take a very nasty spot, so we might be losing Ernst here. Should have seen that coming. Oh well, okay, who has the nets? You do. Does anyone closer by have them? Not sure we can actually afford to dagger him down. He's protected by this damn obstacles. Maybe he breaks as I kill all of his allies. Hopefully. I guess we'll get your net out. Get closer. Alright, yeah, Ernst is most likely dead. Better him than Hilmar, though. Yeah, I don't think I can even afford to dagger him down when this is the situation here. Probably need to just nuke him instead. Twenty-nine to hit him. It's a couple of 69s. Mm. Shame. So his resolve doesn't seem to be affected by his allies being... Well, actually he is... He is actually wavering though. Still, I think Ernst is just toast. Basically guaranteed. Okay, you could attack three times there. So he has some sort of passive that enables that for adjacent allies. 
Let's take a quick look here if I can find it. Hmm. Okay, we'll gain the feeling inspired effect. Yeah, inspiring presence. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. This poacher is dodging like, well, like an asshole. Hmm. So if I use the net now, then that might save Ernst for one turn. Maybe. But if I wait with the net, then he won't be able to break free from it basically immediately. I think I'll wait and just let Ernst suffer the consequences. Don't really care that much about Ernst. That's with confidence. He's level 1. With 42 hit points, he's, he's basically dead. Okay, Axiom 4. Okay, that helps. Can we kill others? Should have looked at the percentages there instead of going for a guy with repost. There we are, okay. He is now fleeing. Meaning we even save the net. Unless there's some ability which will rally him as he takes damage. Which might be a thing, because it's a thing in Legends. Okay, so you have a dagger. Yes, you do. Let's get there. Nasty hit. The thing is, he will be able to try to move here. He might even succeed in moving. And if he doesn't, his armor is going to take damage. Meaning we might not get it. We could use the net to prevent that. Hmm. I guess it's probably worth the net. Sure. He breaks free, but can't do anything else. Okay. Uh, kill this guy. Come on, there we are. Make room for Hilmar. Sure. Alright, just this one guy left. Twelve percent to hit. You have underdog. I don't see it. I've been known to be blind sometimes in the past, though. So I could wait for the surrounding bonus, though. Alright. So this might take a little while. There's the first hit. Okay. Couple more hits in, please.
Come on, guys, you can do it. You can do it. There you know. There you go. Okay, couple of levels. We did get the armor, 230. No helmet. Also got the heater shield. Money, salt, some weapons. Might be using this war brand. Can nearly fit everything. Good enough. Okay. What is that? Is that Theodore the Marauders? You shake your head. Nah, that man is dead. This here is just bonus pay. Okay, so we might encounter some mercenaries who want to take the head. I will just allow that to happen if it happens. Let's level people up though. So Ernst, level 2, gets promised potential. Plus 3, plus 3, and you do get dodge with a star. I guess we'll take some initiative. Only have Nimble as an option as well. Alright, and next up, Wilhelm, level 5. Plus 3, plus 3, that's good. And you are going Battleforged. We'll take Fatigue. There we are, and Spear Mastery. Let's see, actually 80-ish melee skill by level 11. I mean, yeah, that kind of incentivizes taking spears. Sure, let's pick that up. Now we need to switch weapons. Do we have a good spear? We have a boar spear available. Okay, so that means that someone else needs to use the battle standard, though. Maybe you. Well, I'll decide on my own time. Let's just keep moving. We see some tracks. There might be brigands again, maybe, but... Okay, doesn't seem like it. Okay, so a successful contract again. A good payday. 1200 crowns. We have anything new here? Um, no. I don't think. Let's try out May not the crazy. He's crazy because he's paranoid. Also fierce green skins. Don't we all? After meeting some goblins earlier in the run. Okay, so as a lumberjack, he does have some potential if he rolls well. Maybe we do take him. Yeah, sure, I guess the plus melee defense, especially when coupled with heavy armor instead of having to go nimble and losing out on the initiative, I guess that incentivizes that. So let's see how he is. He's... Mm, he's not great. Not great. He's like... He maybe usable, but I don't think so. 56 melee skill starting, no stars, 9 melee defense. That is good, but no stars there either. So I'll just let him go. Goodbye. Alright, I think that's enough for now. Thanks for watching. We still didn't find that damn banner man, but I'll keep looking. Guess we'll probably head north to see about that next time. But anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.